Alrighty, let's play this in full. There is sound. Wah! All right, let's turn the sound off. This was for the hundred firm assignment. I think it's cool. My comment would be, what if, I mean, what if there is no sound? We can't hear the sound. Someone doesn't turn it on. I'm just curious, thinking out loud, what if we would cheat the view and bring up the car higher? And what if, this is way too much work. I'm just thinking out loud here. The car would drive and then would drive over some garbage cans, like something where we see the car more and we would understand that something happens, something flying over, something making noise. I'm just curious if we can make this work without the sounds. Because if you just watch this and you look at the guy, that creature, and there's no sound, then yes, we see something go by quickly. But then there is no indication. I'm just curious if that could be something. Just for you to think about if you want to do that. <clears throat> Maybe that window is slightly open. To also show that the that weird creature can hear this. And maybe you would show something flying. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's uh, the right idea, but I always feel like at least consider the possibility that no one's going to hear this. Like some of the sound, right? And is this, is it still going to work? I like all the mouse stuff and the <laughs> little movement on the hands, especially you got this little even detail finger stuff as the hand goes forward. That's cool. You can probably, if you put that detail here, you can put it here. Just like curl on the toes and slight like orientation and rotation on that foot. It doesn't feel just like it's pulling. Unless I'm not seeing it because of angles. I see a shortening here of the toes. So maybe that's just me. Because so you have stuff in the back. You got the breathing. Let's watch this frame by frame here. You got that. <clears throat> I mean, you could push this potentially with... What does he do? He or it or she opens and does that. So what if... There's a couple of things you could do. It also depends if you want to extend the shot. But what if all of this... The sound, right? Because it gets go back to the sound. I think when the sound happens and when the creature reacts is fine. What you could do, what if, I don't know if you have controls, to relax the spiky stuff and the membrane. Then, first frame is you pop into this. It's like a sensory thing. I hear what's going on here. And then next frame, you keep it, you might overshoot a bit and come back. But next frame, those fingers tighten. And then the next frame, half eye closed with a slight head turn. And then one, two, maybe over one frame, you can make this snappy. You actually have nostril and nostril, at least half eye, the other eye, not exactly looking at us, right? But you have a, it will still be like this in my fantastically horrible drawing whatever finger thingy pose you have but imagine does a slight what's it called head turn towards us so it's not just eyes but it has a bit more of a huh and then you got that and you could potentially you have to try this maybe it's not working super great but but it's so fast i'm just wondering on this, I mean, you have a drag. Could you potentially even close the eyes a bit here? Close the eyes, maybe still have some uh, stretchiness. I don't know if you want to go to a full on smear frame, but maybe on this, you can still have some crazy fingers. Just like clear silhouette. And I know he's all dragging behind, but maybe push single elements more, even if it's just over one frame. And then imagine, like I said here, you have the drag on the lids. Everything still drags, nostrils, maybe the lips and the teeth can stay here. And then as it 
is here. What are you doing here? You go arms up and into this. So you could potentially, if the body stops here, I guess you could keep it like that. I will probably keep that leg a bit lower to so have a cleaner silhouette on that arm. Maybe this arm a bit lower with this. Then go back with eyes like that. Still slightly skin dragging, just a bit less. And then BAM! On that frame. And again, going back here, the orientation is like this. And you go up and the orientation is still the same. Not in terms of going higher, but the way that body is aligned, you know, with that side here. So what if you start here, you have that whole thing that gives it a slight head rotation. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you go... But this is more turns towards camera, not profile, but imagine that eye is here, but the other eye is here, and maybe the tail is here. I hope that makes sense, right? And then feet a bit there, but then you have maybe maybe this arm is then higher, and it's a silhouette more, uh, more like that, and then maybe arm here, and then the other leg would be down here. I can horrible at drawing, but imagine this whole body more turned towards us. Why am I saying this again? It's complexity. So you have disorientation to the body, let's say top view, right? Let's say window, windowsill, creature like this. And then when it's in the air like that, it's actually oriented like this. So you have a slight move in the overall body for contrast. And then what I would do, just going back to what I said before, so you have that slight drag with the lids and everything. And on that frame and everything ends like that, then you can overshoot and bring those lids all the way up. Keep the eye here, right? But the lids high, lids high. Maybe the, the lips here. Teeth are obviously still there. But everything, the body stops, but all the loose stuff goes up. Even maybe the membrane here, if you can, stretch it. And arm higher. And maybe even this curl back. Just imagine the big mass goes, holy moly. And then the soft mass, like the lid, the skin and everything is dragging. And here it's completely overshooting. And then maybe over two frames or so it comes back to what it is now. And then does what you have here with the shakiness and the wiggle. And then you got this with the drag, which is fine. Switch out like all these move kind of at the same time. So you want to start offsetting all these so it's not supposed to pose. And even this could be as he drops. He will go, like I said, like this, and then orient a bit more towards us. And then as he falls, why not? Just have a slight... I like that he drags, but what if there's also an ever so slight rotation like this? Or, or the other way. I mean, I'm not picky about this. Maybe the other way, so you can see both eyes. But something where it's not just a drop, but a slight drop and turn. So again, for complexity and just contrast. There's a change of of body angle I mean, you know maybe this arm then falls first and he just has a slight lean or it or she with eyes slightly visible so it's just not so flat and down i hope that makes sense you just engage all the axes of that creature's body position again even if this is just over one frame and maybe this has like the lids this far down and the lips this far down like you see how far you can push this and maybe this whole Overshoot on the lids is all, only one frame and then snaps back and then is into this or kind of play with it a little bit And you might as well also do a little bit of Tongue and then it's all the way up here and then lands again and doing all of this have a bit of like a Tongue out maybe movement if you can uh, If that rig If that rig allows for it And then maybe by the time you drop, you expand the pupils again to be more dilated and just passing out. And this is just your super small pupil for, for the freak out. I think that's about it. All right. So let me know. Let me know what you want to do. These are my current thoughts on that. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.